so far, you learned a lot about negotiation, and you can apply what you learn to various situations, including commercial negotiation, and you can negotiate with your significant others, your family members, your friends, uh, your colleagues in your organization. But ultimately, you learn negotiation. Why? The ultimate purpose is that you want to apply what you learn into very complex, multi-party, multi-issue, public dispute negotiation. Okay, that's why. So the more important topic uh, today and across all the semester is to know how to design and manage and conduct a multi-party, multi-issue negotiation for consensus building in public policy dispute. It's a very big topic, okay? So I'm going to um, suggest some of the principles and frameworks so that you can apply in the future after you graduate from KDR school. And you work, some of you are government officers and you can work in your organization and facing various uh, challenging uh, public policy uh, conflict, then you can apply what you learn here. Um, Usually, in public policy dispute, the government needs to start. And when? When? That's the critical issue. After they made a decision already, and they implement, and they face a serious resistance, and then create a table? Possibility. But it's better, for, if you want to start the process anyway, then you can start earlier. In earlier phase, before those stakeholders are politicized or dig into the position, they want to start earlier the negotiation. That's better. Um, when you consider nego multi-party negotiation like this, um, you need to negotiate about those strategic issues first. That's the pre-negotiation. The negotiation about the structure. And everybody said, okay, then you can start. Without um, setting up this structure, you can start negotiation then. During the process, a lot of conflict about these issues. So that's why it takes a lot of time to start and to have a conduct uh, efficient, effective negotiation. We're going to have a debriefing today about your uh, excellent negotiation last Monday. <laughs> so as I, as I informed you already, the governor or mayor or both, if they are available here today, they need to come together and come forward uh, in front of you and they will explain their agreement from group two, one to group six. So every group made agreement. and I will, we will try to answer your questions. Okay. Thank you. Good afternoon. Uh, welcome to this briefing about uh, regarding our uh, group agreements, group number six and seven. We appreciate, as my colleague mentioned, the, the stakeholders' cooperation during our negotiation, really. 
So actually, we try to finalize after long discussion. We try to finalize uh, and make an agreement which will be simple and easily to be understood by all the members because our committee uh, consists of different members from farmers, from citizens, from mayor and other, other, other participants. So as you can see, our, our agreement is uh, simply made it. Only simple points we, we try it and we try to be something practical actually uh, in order to, to be ad, uh, implemented in the future. So the first one regarding the computer tech, uh, the computer tech will, uh, will buy, will purchase the land, the nominated land, and they will build the facility with the pure system based on, we should not forget that, building the computer tech is based on the sustainable development of the city, which all of us, we were agree on to carry on and uh, to work on this sustainable development plan. The second one, uh, they will provide, uh, besides the nominated jobs 275, they will work sincerely to provide more works to the citizens and the farmers as well. And uh, this will be contributed to the economic growth of the city. Building such kind of factories in any cities, it will boost the economical uh, movement in general. So regarding uh, the second issue, which is the Castle Island, uh, the Castle Island, it will be divided equally between the two buyers. So uh, the hotel and the Natura Trust. And besides that, in order not to forget the other parts, uh, as we mentioned before that, we try to make a consensus agreement that all the members to be agree. So free shuttle bus and service will be divided for the citizens. And the cost will be covered by both buyers, the hotel and the Natura Trust. And also, uh, we put the condition in order to protect the ecosystem and the environment in the island, that all the vehicles which they are going over there, it should be the eco-friendly cars. Uh, uh, point number three regarding the farmers, they can use the same place which, the same place which they have it right now for more 10 years. And uh, this uh, agreement is uh, subject to be renewable. Uh, the third issue is regarding the, the, the river dam. Uh, so it was after long, long discussion actually uh, uh, regarding how, uh, removing the, you know, the side effects, the negative impacts of removing the dam for the citizens and for the city and the cost. We agreed on that, that within five to seven years we are going to, to remove the dam. And uh, the alternative of the smart irrigation system for the farmers and supplying adequate drinking water for the citizens will be installed by the Natural Trust and the Ministry of Environment coordinately. So the capacity building for the farmers to adopt the use of the technology will be covered by the Ministry of Environment. And for the cost, the total cost of removing the dam, the government is going to cover the cost. You know why? Because the government is going to be the beneficial from getting the taxes from the computer tech, from the hotel owner. So those taxes which we are collecting, we are going to use it for the service of our citizens. That's the end of the, briefly, uh, our agreement. Thank you, uh, governor. Governor. Uh, Any other questions? Yes. Strong government, huh? Oh, it's different. Welcome. Yeah.
Okay, so um, we heard uh, wonderful governor's introduction of their agreement. And the purpose of this press conference, as you understand now, is that you know, um, after you hammer out an agreement, and many people just shouted with joy, we finished, we made it. But that's not the end, right? So next morning, you need to have a press conference. You need to actually let the public know what happened in that group negotiation. And when you open up this agreement, and there are a lot of questions from journalists and media and even stakeholders and you know, the fishermen, why not us? So this is a very wonderful question. So you need to expect this kind of situation happen all the time. So that's why I actually had a, uh, this kind of press conference to make sure that when you generate or hammer out an agreement, you need to consider this situation later. Right? Implementation phase. So that's why. But anyway, you found similarity and difference across uh, uh, different groups' agreement. Okay? So let's have a debriefing. How, how could we, if this is a real case, right? So same situation, same information, same time. Different group produce different outcomes. How could you evaluate whose group is the best? What are the criteria with which you can evaluate? Yes, one of the critical uh, criteria is, options. yes, how many, how many creative options they generate together? How many values are added, right? To create more values for more stakeholders. That's the critical assessment standard. And another st first standard, you can just come up with the standard first. Are they satisfied? Right? If they, we, they, they have their own interests and then this agreement satisfies their interests. So if more stakeholders are satisfied, more satisfied with the agreement, then more points. It's more successful agreement. And second, yes, how they create more values by creative options. So some groups actually create some options. Right? For example, I, I was impressed by the idea of the hotel, Computech, purchase agriculture product from the farmer, Joseph. That's a very clever idea. Win-win. So farmer Joseph, and also farmer Joseph wants to, environmental friendly, they want to organic farming practice. I mean, they want to use the no chemicals. And so that's the another benefit for environment and natural trust. And also they purchase the land. The farmer Joseph will be earning money by selling their product to hotel and so that's the win-win solution, that's a creative idea. Actually this class is very famous among students in KDI and also I really like to know on how to do the negotiation and resolving disputes, especially because it's a daily necessities uh, and you can actually find it on your daily life. So next Monday, no class and next Wednesday is the final class. There will be no camera. <laughs> okay? Now, uh, 4.50, so we will meet again 5.10 p.m. <laughs>